In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create a Microsoft account. The first thing you want to do is launch into your web browser. I'm actually going to launch into an incognito browser uh, because I'm already signed in to one of my Microsoft accounts and simply head over to outlook.live.com or do a search and then select the first link. At outlook.live.com, it's going to take us over to the Microsoft website. And then you'll see here, it talks about Outlook. And then there's the option of signing in, downloading, or underneath that, create a free account, which is what we are going to select on. When you select on create a free account, it's going to open up a new window to sign up. And here you can create a new Microsoft email address. The first section is your email name. I'm going to call this one Aldo James Tech Tips. To, and then you can also choose what you'd like the at to be. By default, it is at Outlook, but if we drop this guy down, we could have it as at outlook.com, at outlook.com.au, or if you wanna have the traditional at Hotmail, you can use that as well. I'm gonna keep this as at outlook.com and then select on next. Here it's gonna ask you to put in a password. You do need to have at least eight characters and you need a mix of upper and lowercase characters, numbers and symbols. If you wanna see the password that you've put in before you save it, you can use this little eyedropper. I'm gonna select on that. That's gonna show you uh, what you've put in. So for this, I've called it password example one exclamation mark. Um, just to make sure that your spelling and your capitalization is correct. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and change this now to something different. And when you're happy with your password, go ahead and select on next. Now, uh, now it's gonna ask you to put in your details. So of course your country as well as your date of birth, and then go ahead and select on next once you've popped in those details. Now you're gonna add in your first and your last name. If you wanna be contacted by Microsoft about their tips, tricks, products and services, you can select on this box and then select on next one more time. Uh, now you're gonna have to do a verification. So you're gonna have to press and hold to load this bar. I think this is kind of cool. Awesome, we have verified. Now it's gonna open up this dialog box, which is gonna take a couple of seconds while it creates your Microsoft account. On my computer, it's asking me if I want to use a pass key. So this would be things like my touch ID, or if I was on say a Windows device, it could be my face ID. I am gonna save this pass key, but you don't have to if you don't want to. And now it says you can use face, fingerprint, or PIN to access your account. So you don't just have to use your password, but you can use other ways to log in. I'm gonna select on OK. And it is that easy to create a Microsoft account. One tip I would recommend though, is going into your profile in the top right hand corner, selecting on the My Microsoft account. This is gonna take you to where you can actually manage your entire Microsoft account. On the left hand side, there is the privacy option, which we are gonna open up. And then here you can add um, another way of protecting your account. So if you want to verify or add two-factor verification to this account, um, you can add an alternate email address or a phone number. So it just adds another layer of security. If you're trying to sign in, you'll get an email or you'll get a message on your phone so you can verify it's you for the first time. But it's that easy to create a Microsoft account. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. If you know Supercharge Raise Your Computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.